This guy might give people a heart attack. We're starting with the ones that don't give you that much of a heart attack. Just adds the egg on top. You know damn well you probably spat that out. That's a lot of eggs, chill out. Bro, slice up the whole tomato. Slices the whole tom like jalapeno. Bro, how does your body function when it digests all of this? That looks very cheesy. Oh, another episode of them pissing off the Italians. But Italians would say, This is a mappazzone. <laughs> Oh, that actually doesn't look good at all. That looks disgusting. Bro does not look like he wants to eat it. Oh, at least he didn't break the spaghetti. You decided to put wieners on it? Like, bro. No way. And I'm sorry to y'all little Italians who have to see this, but my goodness. Y'all Italians are probably gonna be mad at this guy. Yeah, y'all are definitely gonna be mad. Bro really put Cheetos and deep fried it. Bro, these videos go so viral for some reason. One day this guy might end up being in the hospital and might die because of how much he's consuming all of this stuff. We're over here. Bro, we made it. Instead of graham crackers, he decided to put bread. Like, rolled a piece of bread. Well, that's actually smart for that. That's not going to give you a lot of a heart attack. Oh, we got this. Whoa, pause, Gordon. Yo. Honestly, facts. Gordon Ramsay is speaking facts right here. This is absolutely horrendously random. Alright. Oh, we got Kraft Mac and G's. Velveeta. Classic beef. Bro, use the whole pack. No. Bro really used flaming hot Cheeto powder. That is literally going to mm, not even. That's gonna make you constipated. All right, we got this. Okay, 
Bro, why did you have to break the spaghetti? Now Lionfield has made me not like people who have been breaking like the spaghetti in half. Bro, why would you even think of this? This guy really used marinara sauce on there. He also wrapped it in bacon. He's like, Signore, no. Alright, I'm gonna just do what Lionfield be like. Signore, no. Spaghetti and bacon wrapped together. And you break the spaghetti? Not approved. Bro. No. You are messed up in the head. I got this. Oh, at least he didn't use the whole pack of it. Bro wrapped it in like they're, uh, those mummy things. Puts them in egg. Damn, chill out. How much cheese is there, bro? Chill. That is way too much cheese. Bro, the crunch. No. The crunch doesn't make me want to eat it anymore. Eat or pass. Oh, we got spam. One of the most hated meat. What? Are we all just gonna ignore that sound that it made? Bro just takes out the whole middle section. Cracks a whole- uh, cracks two eggs instead. Bro. Why would you ask any of these questions? Eat or pass? I would pass on that, like a hundred percent. Why does it have to start like that? Bro just measures it, it, it and complains that it's only five inches, but now he just deep fries it and opens it like a you know what. This time it turns it into a woman, which is kind of weird. What is this? That actually is one of the least heart attack ones here. Can't believe I'm saying that. We got Gorlika. Dices them. Grates mozzarella. Then just does this whole mix. Honestly, I could make that. Bro made a meatball parmesan sandwich. Honestly, that uh, that I could approve on. That one I could make. Fried chocolate donut. This guy's just chopping up chocolate. Just puts a bunch of sugar or white substances or something. Does this... And deep fries it, of course. Bro loves deep frying everything. That low key actually looks like it will smack me in the head. So, let's read this comment. Tell me after you prepare the rest of the chicken as well. He's in back in there. Uses cornstarch. Bro, you just made it look like those donut holes. Now you're gonna trick a child into that. Whoa, the sound that it made.
Pro really made barbecue sauce. Or sweet and sour. That actually, at least he isn't wasting food. Yet again, one of the theories that someone might have is that this, these videos might be f fake. And we got this whole thing. A cheesy bacon wheel. This guy, this is stuff that he likes to do. Puts cheese on everything. Deep fries everything. That's what the main stuff he uses in all these recipes. If this guy ever makes a recipe book, people will be like, hell no. Nah. Yet again, there's actually people who follow this guy's recipes. Bro, how much cheese? Oh, at least I didn't use as much as the other videos, though. Uses a bit of salt. All of this. This guy really labels everything. Very nice. Bro uses, like, this much oil. Like, how? Like, this much oil. He's regretting eating that. Alright, we got this here. Bro, why is it all zoomed in like this? Butters it like this. Of course he deep fries it. And then just uses this. Um, okay. We got this one here. Alright, so he's making spam fries. So he puts all the fries. He uses a bunch of oil. Bro, imagine tricking someone into thinking that's either fish sticks or mozzarella sticks. Bro, every single time I'm at the store looking for mozzarella sticks, I would always get tricked into thinking that they're fish sticks for like a second. That's what I hate about mozzarella sticks and fish sticks, that they look exactly the same. Puts in like some cheese, of course. This dude loves cheese so much. This guy does not look like he enjoys it. <laughs> He looks like he's regretting every single decision he makes on this channel. Oh, he used to do all of this. He did this back then. I hate ASMR. <laughs> With Benny Blanco. Bro really had a whole producer of music. Like, the producer behind the song by Juice World, titled Graduation. Bro, how do you make that big of a mozzarella stick? Of a mozzarella stick? Like, how? Anyways, that's just my thoughts on this guy. This guy, I think, is very, very insane. And if you're a fan of this guy, then 
then I respect your decision, but I still think you're a bit weird. And bro does all of this content for 20 million subscribers. I decided to search this guy up just so I can make a video on this guy. Anyways, goodbye. Hmm. <laughs>